Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to install or reinstall uh, the PS4 operating system onto your PS4. And this is a part two video um, from my first video of installing a data bank. So, but this will basically kill two birds with one stone of how to install um, the operating system regardless. So you do need a USB flash drive and it has to have at least two gigs because uh, this number can always go up when they ever roll out with new updates and this is the operating system so it can be two gigs later on in the future right now it's almost at one gig so get yourself a two gig uh, my flash drive is 32 gigs so it can well handle this basically um, I will provide this link down below in the description um, and once you click on it you want to scroll down where it says perform a new installation of the system software and this is where you want to go ahead and click download now and as that starts downloading we want to open up our um, our USB flash drive which is right here uh, before anything if you have files on here make sure you back it up because you will lose them uh, you want to right click hit format, hit uh, FAT32, so you click right here, then hit FAT32 and click start. I've already done that, so I'm good. And basically, you want to create yourself a PS4 folder by right clicking, uh, new, then hit folder, then type in PS4, make sure it's capitalized, then do the same step, but uh, you want to name it as update, then as that's done downloading, you want to drag and drop your PS4 update.pup into this folder. And uh, we can continue on. So after you do that, uh, we're gonna move over towards the PS4. So unplug your USB flash drive and stick it into your PS4. Okay, now that you plugged in your USB flash drive, you also got to get a micro USB cable connected towards your controller. This is actually required to do so. And if you have yourself the data bank, um, which in my previous video, like I said again, I was installing a data bank. Um, we're going to be installing the operating system on our 3.5 um, hard drive. So on the right is a 3.5, on the left is a 2.5 which is our default right now it's on our default hard drive this one's on our new drive that we're installing the operating system on yes I am using a webcam and I do have a capture card it's right here but unfortunately because we're doing the whole updating process it's not going to recognize the capture card or even display so we're going to have to use the webcam throughout the whole video I do apologize for that but I will give you a crisp clear picture so to begin with, um, even if you do have the data bank or not, but you still need to install the um, PlayStation 4 um, software, this is the same step. Just don't worry about this if you don't have this. Um, just pretend it's not there if you don't have it. But you do have yourself a new hard drive that you're trying to install the operating system on. So this is the first step. Um, is to hold down the PlayStation power button for 7 seconds or until you hear two beeps. So we're going to go ahead and uh, press that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then there should be another beep. Okay, there's the second beep. And now we're going to go ahead and move over towards our TV, which I'll set up the webcam for that. Okay, now that I positioned the webcam towards the TV, this is the clear picture, you guys can read it just fine. Don't worry about the mess or the reflection of the TV, everything is just all a mess in my room. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and uh, turn on the PS4, you're going to hit that um, middle button right there. You're going to go down to number 7, and uh, let's bring that down right there. Okay, so it'll say initialize PlayStation 4 reinstall system software that's what we want so you're gonna go ahead and hit um, the X button and you're gonna hit enter and I'll say connect to USB blah 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 blah. we already done that our USB flash drives connected now we're gonna go move over to OK hit X and it says please wait this is the part where it can take up to 10 minutes to reinstall it so 
um, it's recognizing the uh, flash drive and it's pulling the files that's what it's doing right now and after it confirms the um, everything uh, then this screen will pop up will say the PlayStation 4 will initialize all user and all data will be deleted are you sure you want to continue so as I just said it said it yeah we're gonna go with it as I just said it all users and data will be deleted so uh, we're gonna go ahead and hit yes and this will um, start installing the PlayStation 4 we'll go ahead and put down the controller um, and this could take uh, a moment, uh, maybe up to 10 minutes, so but not too long. But basically, um, when it on the previous message when it says it'll delete all user and data, it will remove everything off that hard drive. But you don't have anything on that hard drive in the first place, or maybe you do, but for some odd reason you have to redo all the steps here. So yeah, um, there's no way to back up any of your game data because it's encrypt or let me respecify the games that you downloaded the one that is like 20 gigs 30 gigs uh 50 gigs whatever the actual games we can't back it up because it's encrypted you would have to get some type of special program which is a um a whole different tutorial from now uh you can but it's uh can back it up but it is complicated as hell um, so I'm not going to do that in this video. If you guys want me to do it in another video, I'll go ahead and do so. Um, but you can back up like your saved um, data, like where you where your last checkpoints at. So that you won't lose. That's basically you would have to go towards your other um, hard drive or once once it was working. Make sure you back up all the saved uh, game files. And put that towards a USB, a different USB, not the same one that we're using right now to install this, but on a different USB, then you'll be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this for a moment and I'll come back to this. Okay, so it finally installed everything. It will reboot once or maybe twice. I wasn't really paying attention, I was letting it go through. Um, but yeah next thing is make sure that you still have your PlayStation 4 controller plugged in you want to go ahead and hit that middle button and this is basically the same steps of how you first got your first PlayStation and how you had to do all these steps uh, we're gonna go ahead and um, keep going and clicking next and OK and whatnot so uh, we don't have a camera I don't care for a camera uh, you want to select your time zone and today's date and time which is correct okay awesome and um, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and keep hitting next, and accept, and awesome. Now that our PlayStation 4 is finally set up, and we have to go towards our new user, uh, create an account, or sign into the account that you already have, uh, which I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, sign into mine. Um, so just bear with me. I'll just pause the video really quickly. Okay, now that we have the uh, PlayStation and now I can actually use the capture card, thank God, um, I already have um, my account signed in. So we're going to go towards the settings and storage and as you can see it will be 2 terabytes. Well almost 2 terabytes because it had to take on some data for the operating system to install. So it took a little bit. Um, but. Um, yeah, this is where I can start downloading a shit ton of games. Yeah! So I can install all the games that I have now onto one um, hard drive. Um, or just uh, save some space because I have that 2.5 uh, hard drive. The original PlayStation hard drive um, installed with a data bank. And uh, I can keep the games that I have on there so whenever I need to switch off... All I gotta do is just uh, click that button um, and I'll switch off on the other hard drive as well. So whenever there is an update uh, coming through, you want to make sure that you've uh, updated both hard drives with the latest uh, software. But um, yeah, this is how you do it and I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you guys haven't, uh, then I why, why are you still here? But uh, yeah. 
Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.